take a look at what happened. I will say, practically every day, the Trump name pops up in the news, often accompanied by juicy details and insider info. However, if there's one Trump who has managed to stay out of the limelight, it's Baron Trump. Until now, after Donald Trump's attempted assassination, it just so happened Baron Trump was there and it left him in complete shock. Today, Baron Trump will reveal the dark truth about this rally and what is going through his mind. First, we need to cover this. Baron remains a bit of an enigma. He is rarely seen and usually appears alongside his mother, avoiding the headlines and staying out of the news. But not all things can stay secret forever. The truth about Baron Trump is out, and everyone is surprised. Ever wondered what Baron is passionate about and what his life was like before he moved into the White House? Tune in to find out. Unlike his famous siblings, Baron Trump largely stays out of the spotlight. He is the youngest of Donald Trump's five children, with his older brothers, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, coming from the former president's first marriage to Ivana Trump. Ivanka Trump, the eldest daughter from this marriage, served as an official assistant to her father during his presidency, while her husband acted as a senior advisor. Although Ivanka wasn't the first presidential child to work in the White House, she did acknowledge the unprecedented nature of her position, as reported by USA Today. Barron's two older brothers often find themselves in the public eye due to their roles in the Trump Organization. Additionally, all three of the elder Trump children actively participated in their father's campaigns, delivering speeches at the 2016 Republican National Conventions. They were joined by their sister Tiffany Trump, from Donald's second marriage to Marla Maples, who also spoke in support of her father at these conventions. Despite being significantly younger than his siblings, Barron's absence from these major political events is notable. While his older brothers and sister have taken on leadership roles within the family's business empire and have been vocal supporters of their father's political endeavors, Barron has largely remained out of the public eye, focusing instead on his education and personal life. This decision has garnered both praise and criticism, with some applauding Barron for maintaining a sense of normalcy amidst the tumultuous world of politics. While others question his level of involvement in the family's affairs, regardless of public opinion, Barron's choice to stay out of the spotlight has allowed him to carve out his own path, separate from the fame and scrutiny that often accompanies the Trump name. Former first children have defended Donald Trump's son against critics and trolls. Despite political differences, several former first children have come to Baron Trump's defense when he's faced harsh criticism. The scrutiny of Barron's appearance and behavior began as early as his father's inauguration. One notable defender was former first child Chelsea Clinton, who swiftly stood up for Donald Trump's youngest son after the 2017 inauguration. Baron Trump deserves the chance every child does to be a kid, she tweeted. She continued to defend Barron in August of that year, after the Daily Caller criticized his clothing choices via People. It's high time the media and everyone leave Baron Trump alone and let him have the private childhood he deserves, she reiterated in another tweet. Chelsea Clinton wasn't alone in defending Barron. Jenna Bush Hager also expressed her frustration over the unnecessary criticism from the Daily Caller. The truth is, obviously Baron Trump didn't ask his dad to run for president. It wasn't his decision, she told People. Melania Trump is very protective of her son. Throughout her career as a model, she was known for keeping to herself, even during her tenure as First Lady. She spent most of her time with her family rather than mingling with friends. Now that Donald is no longer in office, 
Sources have told people that Melania remains very private and keeps a watchful eye on Baron. Melania's friends are her family members, a source revealed in 2023. Many Mar-a-Lago club members and others know and see Melania, but they aren't friends. They don't get together and chat or socialize. She has always surrounded herself with family. She is a doting mother to Baron and very protective of him. This is nothing new. The insider also mentioned that Melania's parents, who reside at the Trump family estate in Mar-a-Lago, are very close to Baron and have played a key role in his upbringing. In March 2024, a social and political source told people that Melania's main job is taking care of Baron. Baron is shy and reserved, and she has been a good mother to him all these years, the source said, adding, Melania is all about Baron and her family. She has always been family-oriented, and besides some charity work, staying on top of family matters is her priority. From the start, Melania Trump has prioritized the well-being of Donald Trump's youngest son. She takes this role very seriously, particularly when it comes to Baron Trump's safety. For instance, after actor Peter Fonda tweeted that Baron should be taken from his family to highlight the immigration crisis in the United States, Melania reported him to the Secret Service. The tweet drew widespread outrage and was eventually deleted. Baron has continued to be the target of undue criticism, much to his mother's dismay. When Stanford Law Professor Pamela Carlin made a derogatory comment about Barron during his father's impeachment trial, Melania swiftly responded, A minor child deserves privacy and should be kept out of politics, she tweeted after the professor joked about Barron's lack of nobility. Pamela Carlin, you should be ashamed of your very angry and obviously biased public pandering and using a child to do it. Although it appears that Melania did not report Carlin to the Secret Service, Carlin did apologize for her remarks. He was absent from his father's farewell speech in January 2021. The Trumps officially departed the White House, boarding Air Force One to head to Florida, leaving the residents ready for the Biden administration. President Donald Trump's exit was very much a family event, with his wife Melania Trump by his side as he delivered his farewell speech. Trump's children, Ivanka, Donald Jr., Tiffany and Eric, attended alongside their partners and children to show their support. However, one notable family member was missing. Trump's youngest son, Baron Trump, was not seen during his send-off speech on the tarmac. The 45th president addressed the crowd with, have a good life, we will see you soon before he and Melania boarded the plane. According to People, Barron was indeed on Air Force One, flying with his parents to Florida, but was not present for the speech, nor seen boarding the plane. As the youngest Trump child and Melania's only son, the family, especially his mother, remained very protective of Barron during Trump's presidency. His absence from the farewell might have been another way for Melania to shield her teenage son from the public eye. Baron Trump and his mother lived in New York for the first six months of the Trump presidency. Kids have always had a presence in the White House. Barack Obama, the president before Donald Trump, moved in with his two young daughters, and numerous other children and teens have called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue home throughout history. When Donald Trump clinched the 2016 election, Melania Trump made it clear that she and their son, Barron, wouldn't immediately relocate from their Manhattan penthouse. The reason? She didn't want to disrupt Barron's school year, as reported by the New York Times. Officials confirmed that Melania and Donald's youngest son would stay in New York for at least six months. Although Melania was concerned about the intense media scrutiny Barron might face, the duo eventually moved to Washington, D.C. in June 2017. But Melania had her reservations, according to People. Her hesitation to move was not only due to Barron's schooling, 
but also because of her deep affection for New York City. Melania Trump has a long-standing nickname for her son. As Baron Trump has grown, he's become the spitting image of his father. But according to Melania Trump, Baron resembles his dad in more ways than one, earning him a special nickname. He is independent and opinionated and knows exactly what he wants, she told Parenting. He is a mix of us in looks, but his personality is why I call him Little Donald. Melania also mentioned that Little Donald looks up to his father's career and achievements. He likes the way he talks, the way he is, she added. They have beautiful respect and admiration for each other. Baron has also been known to mimic his father's style and behavior. In an interview with ABC News back in 2013, the First Lady shared that Baron doesn't mind putting on a suit, and even as a young child, he enjoyed dressing up in a tie sometimes, like Daddy. He was the first boy to live in the White House since JFK Jr. Over the years, many children have lived in the White House, but for a long time, only presidential daughters have called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue home. President Barack Obama had two daughters, as did President George W. Bush before them. President Bill Clinton had a daughter too. Donald Trump's youngest son, Barron, was the first boy to live in the White House in over 50 years. The last boy to reside there was John F. Kennedy Jr., whose father was assassinated in 1963 when he was just two years old. When Donald won the election in 2016, presidential expert and author Kate Anderson Brower told CNN that Melania Trump would benefit from talking to former first ladies about their experiences raising children in the White House. That's what Hillary Clinton did when she reached out to Jackie Kennedy for advice when she moved into the White House with Bill and Chelsea Clinton. Donald was surprised to find out Melania was expecting in 2005. Roughly six months after their wedding, Donald and Melania found out they were expecting their first child together. Reflecting on the moment she shared the news, Melania confessed that her husband was quite taken aback. He came home one day last August and I told him he'd be a daddy. His reaction was he needed a moment to process it. It was a real surprise, but then he was very happy, she told people. Donald added, I always expected we'd have children, so I wasn't completely surprised, but I was surprised by how quickly it happened. It was very fast. He stood in support of his father's 2024 campaign announcement. When Donald Trump officially announced his 2024 presidential campaign in late 2022, his youngest son, Baron Trump, stood in support of his father. Following his defeat in the 2020 election to Joe Biden, former President Donald Trump announced his campaign from the ballroom of Mar-a-Lago, declaring his intent to run for office again in 2024. Although Barron did not speak during the event, his presence was notable, as he has grown taller than his father and siblings, according to Insider. Barron entered the ballroom with his siblings Eric Trump and Eric's wife, Laura Trump, as well as Jared Kushner, Ivanka Trump's husband. Notably absent were Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, both staunch supporters of their father's political career. Donald Jr. was reportedly on a hunting trip and could not return in time due to inclement weather, according to a source cited by the Daily Beast. In contrast, Ivanka's absence appears to have been deliberate, as she has chosen to step away from politics during the 2024 campaign. In a statement to the Daily Beast, she explained, I am choosing to prioritize my young children and the private life we are creating as a family. This shift may lead to Barron taking on a more public role during the 2024 campaign cycle. Mongolia gifted him with a horse in 2019. It's common for international leaders and governments to present gifts to the president and his family as gestures of goodwill, according to the Washington Post. These gifts symbolize the friendship and shared journey between countries 
and are often seen as diplomatic tools. Historically, some of these gifts have included live animals. During his presidency, Ronald Reagan received a baby elephant from Sri Lanka. George H.W. Bush received a Komodo dragon from Indonesia, and Richard Nixon and his wife were gifted two pandas from China. In a similar vein, it might not be surprising to learn that in 2019, Donald Trump's youngest son, Baron, was gifted a horse from Mongolia, as noted by the Associated Press. Mongolia frequently gives horses as special gifts to dignitaries. Baron's horse, named Victory, remains in Mongolia, but is described as beautiful by Stephanie Grisham, the press secretary at the time. The family was very grateful for the gift. Baron Trump and his mother speak her native language together. Thanks to his mother's heritage, Baron Trump is fluent in multiple languages. He speaks both Slovenian and English. Back in 2009, Melania Trump mentioned to people that Baron was also speaking French, making him a trilingual toddler. According to Mary Jordan, the Pulitzer Prize-winning author of The Art of Her Deal, a biography on Melania Trump, Baron still communicates with his mother in Slovenian today. This even occurs in front of the Secret Service, a unique aspect of their life in the White House. Jordan explained to CBS News, There's a tight-knit unit within the family, consisting of Melania, her parents and Baron. They all speak Slovenian. This means that even the Secret Service can't understand their conversations. Jordan also shed light on how these Slovenian chats affected Donald Trump, who never learned his wife's language. He has admitted it sometimes annoys him because he has no idea what they're discussing, Jordan noted. He enrolled in a private school in Florida after leaving the White House. The Trump family has spent most of their time at their Mar-a-Lago club in Palm Beach, Florida, despite Melania and Baron Trump previously spending most of their time in New York. They seem to have settled in Florida. Baron's enrollment in a private school in the area solidified their move to the Sunshine State. Baron enrolled in the elite private school Oxbridge Academy as part of the class of 2024. Scott Siegfried, the director of Advancement, expressed, We look forward to welcoming him into our school and community. A spokesperson from Trump's team later confirmed the news to people. Elite education often comes with a hefty price tag, and Oxbridge Academy is no exception. With an annual tuition of $38,500 and an additional yearly fee of $2,500, as per the school's website, despite the cost, Baron should receive a comprehensive education and be well protected while attending. Before Baron started at the school, an email was sent to parents informing them that he would be accompanied by a small group of Secret Service agents for protection. We are working directly with the Secret Service to ensure that logistics and security work smoothly and discreetly with little impact on students, faculty, staff or day-to-day -day operations the email stated. As Trump's son, he's experienced frightening threats. Despite Melania Trump's efforts to shield Baron Trump from the public eye, being the son of a public figure like Donald Trump has presented challenges and placed Baron in harm's way. Many politicians, including Donald Trump, have faced frightening situations such as death threats. Unfortunately, Baron was recently threatened as well. Tracy Fiorenza, an Illinois woman, recently appeared in court for allegedly sending threatening emails to Baron Trump and his school headmaster. These emails, sent between May and June, contained explicit threats against Baron's life. The threats escalated over time, with one email stating, I will state that I will shoot Donald Trump Sr. and Baron Trump straight in the face at any opportunity I get. Fiorenza, who did not have legal representation listed in court documents, admitted to sending these threatening emails during an interview with the US Secret Service. 
Fiorenza's actions are part of a disturbing trend of increased threats against public figures, particularly as elections and crises approach. Federal arrests for threats against public officials have risen significantly in recent years, with 74 arrests tied to such threats last year, up from 38 in 2013. Tragically, some cases have resulted in violence, as seen in the recent death of a Utah man who was shot and killed by the FBI while they served a search warrant related to threats against Joe Biden. Regardless of one's political views, threatening a child is universally condemned. Many people have expressed their outrage on social media platforms like Reddit. Book, prosecute and sentence this scumbag. Nobody should be threatening a child, one Redditor commented. Disgusting. Say whatever you want about Donald, he is in the public light because he wants to be. His son, a minor no less, he is off limits, another Reddit user emphasized. Despite these threats, Barron seems to be handling the situation well. Throughout his father's presidency, Barron was mostly shielded from the public eye. Now, as he finishes high school at Oxbridge Academy in Florida, Barron is set to graduate with the class of 2024. These threats against him and his family serve as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by public figures and their loved ones in today's world. He's staying out of the public eye throughout his father's trial. Donald Trump's 2024 presidential campaign has been somewhat overshadowed by his indictment for allegedly paying hush money to Stormy Daniels, an adult entertainer. Instead of being front and center, many members of the Trump family are keeping a low profile while Donald Trump faces a legal battle. A source told people that Melania Trump is angry and doesn't want to hear about the alleged hush money payment. She's aware of who her husband is and keeps her life upbeat rather than being with her husband during the scandal. She is focusing on spending time with close friends, her parents, and of course, her son. Melania has been protective of Baron Trump throughout her husband's legal battle. They have kept a low profile, mostly staying close to home. His mom is protective of him, but he is free around Mar-a-Lago. They are low-key with their socializing. A source told People, since Melania always prioritizes Baron, he is unlikely to make many public appearances until his father's trial concludes. He started trending on TikTok due to a time-traveling conspiracy theory. Baron Trump became a TikTok sensation thanks to a captivating conspiracy theory about time travel. The theory revolves around a curious connection between Baron Trump and a book from the 1890s called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. This discovery piqued the interest of both mystery enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike. In a TikTok video that went viral, the eerie similarities between the book and the Trump family were highlighted. The video mentioned that in the 1888 book, Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, the main character, a 10-year-old boy named Baron Trump, has a mentor named Don, a wealthy man living on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Together, they embark on a journey to Russia to find a portal to a magical underground world. These uncanny parallels between the book and Baron Trump's life led some TikTok users to speculate that both Donald and Baron Trump could be time travelers. This theory gains even more traction when considering the third book in the Baron Trump series, The Last President, where Don becomes president, triggering riots. The video's top comment captured the unsettling essence of the theory. The thing about time travel is that if it's ever to exist, it already does. He may become a more public figure. Melania Trump has always been fiercely protective of her son, Baron, and this has been especially evident since the family left the White House in 2021, choosing to live a relatively private life in Florida. Even during Donald Trump's presidency, Barron's public appearances were few and far between. 
Unlike Donald Trump's other children, such as Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, who have been vocal about politics and have taken on public roles, Barron has largely stayed out of the spotlight. However, as he grows older and his father potentially runs for president again, Barron may become a more public figure. Only time will tell if he will follow in his siblings' footsteps or continue to carve out his own path. Melania made a deliberate effort to keep Barron out of the spotlight and away from politics as much as possible. However, there is speculation that Barron may soon step into a more public role. This speculation began when Kimberly Guilfoyle posted a family photo on her Instagram story, the same Christmas photo that sparked theories about Barron's height. The inclusion of Barron in this photo has led some to believe that he may start making more public appearances in the future. A former senior aide to Melania Trump told the New York Post that Guilfoyle would not have posted a photo of Barron without Melania's approval, suggesting that Barron's appearance in the photo could be a hint of his future involvement in the family's public affairs. Barron is set to graduate from high school in 2024, which marked the beginning of a more active role for him in his family's political endeavours.